Hey guys, in this quick video, I'm going to talk about how you can resize an Azure VM. If you're running virtual machines in Azure, you can easily change the size of a VM without having to recreate from scratch. Let me show you how it is done. To do this, just navigate to your virtual machines in Azure portal. Now you might need to stop and deallocate the virtual machine if the new size isn't available on the hardware cluster that is currently hosting your VM. So I'm going to select Lab Web 2, and you can see the current size of the VM is standard B1S, which provides one vCPU and one gig of RAM. So I'm going to click on size under settings. You can see a whole lot of VM sizes based on the number of vCPUs, the memory size, the number of data disks the VM can have, the maximum IOPS that the VM supports, the size available for the temporary storage disk, whether or not it supports premium disks, and the cost of the VM per month. All these VM sizes are categorized by series such as D series, B series, A series, E series, F series, L series, M series, and N series with different versions like V3, V4, V2, and V5. Some of these are general purpose, memory optimized, compute optimized, storage optimized, GPU optimized, or confidential compute. It is also categorized based on isolated sizes, non-premium storage VM sizes, previous generation sizes, other sizes, sizes that are not available, unsupported generation, unsupported architecture, and only supported for confidential virtual machines. And also if you collapse all these categories, it tells what these categories of VM size are best suited for. So careful planning must be done before selecting the new VM size. You need to ensure that the new VM size is still going to support the requirement of your guest OS and the workload running in the guest OS with respect to number of vCPUs and RAM required and the number of data disks required and the IOPS it requires. And if your VM uses premium storage, make sure that you choose an S version of the size to get the premium storage support while resizing the VM. For example, if I type E4, you can see E4S V3, which supports premium storage, whereas there's another category of the same VM size, which does not support the premium storage. So I'm going to select the B series VM. Like I said, the current size of my VM is B1S. I'm going to select B2MS, which is going to provide me two vCPUs, eight GB of RAM, four data disks, maximum IOPS of 1920, and a temporary storage of 16 GB and the premium disk is supported and the cost per month is $60. I don't need to stop and deallocate the VM because this VM size is the very next size of B1S and it must be available on the same hardware cluster. If it throws an error, simply stop and deallocate the VM and then you can proceed with the VM resize. So I'm going to click on resize and wait until the resize operation is completed. All right, the VM resize is successful. And if I click on my VM again and hit refresh, all right, you can see now it is having two vCPUs and eight gig of memory. And it says standard B2MS. This would save you time and effort, especially if you have a lot of data and configuration set up on your existing virtual machines. I hope you like this video. For more videos like these, please subscribe to my channel.